Sports Talk brought to you by Shelby Heating and Air. Give them a call, 704-487-7877. Check them out online, shelbyheating.com. Thank you, Shelby Heating and Air, for sponsoring Saturday Morning Sports Talk. I wish they could cool the outside, Tom, because the last couple nice. of days outside, it was we, we well, could have used them. Well, if anybody yeah. can do it, it's Shelby Heating That's and it. Air. <laughs> They've got the experience, been in business for a long time, uh, very, very uh, meticulous and thorough when they do a job. Yes. So give them a call. Uh, 704-487-7877, shelbyheating.com. Well, i waiting on Milton to call back in, and uh, we're going to talk to him for just a few moments. Uh, but um, I've got a little bit of audio I wanted you, I wanted to play you guys. and We always like audio. You always like audio. <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> Jermaine O'Neal, okay? He was asked about why he didn't re-sign with the Miami Heat when um, LeBron and bought when they made the big three announcement, so he he decided not to join them. Okay, so the year before he was with them, and Miami has a, a body fat rule of eight percent for the big men, and that's what he's referring to here. So I just want to give you a little background on what he's talking about, and this is the reason why Jermaine O'Neal did not resign with the Miami Heat. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Pat, I'm gonna start with Miami. They wanted me to re-sign. Like, I knew LeBron and them was coming. And this is the realest thing I could tell y'all. You know, they got that 8% body fat. That right? shit's serious. For a big guy. Yeah. That's heavy lifting. Mm-hmm. I remember going into the pantry at night, looking at the Oreos, Oreos looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I could, bruh, I am in a full battle daily on what I ate. And I was like, bro, I'm I'm 30, I'm 30 plus years old. I, I can't go through this. So like, I was like, bro, look, I'm too old to be having a debate whether I want to have an Oreo or not. <laughs> right, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> who, who was this again, Kevin? Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, okay. That's so funny. He left Miami because he walked into the pantry and argued with a pack of Oreos and said he's too old to do that and he chose the Oreos over exercising. And this is what I try to, you know, try to explain to some folks. If you don't buy the Oreos, <laughs> they won't be in your pantry to eat. But Jermaine O'Neal obviously had a problem with that, and that is why Jermaine O'Neal did not re-sign with the Miami Heat because he wanted to eat Oreos, Terry. I think it's funny. And, you know, I mean, I'm with him. I, like he said, like said, I'm 30-some years old. Why should I be worrying about this? Like I want an Oreo. Time? I made $20 million That's last year. I'm eating Oreo this year. I want an Oreo. And I want the double stuff. Yeah, I, I'm going to order all the flavors. He wanted the Oreo. <laughs> I do not blame him. That's awesome. I walked in there. And uh, there was no Oreo. So, so anyway. LeBron, I'm not coming. Well, well, back. I was expecting on Milton to call me yeah, back, well, but until the end, we'll, are we uh, doing? Uh, are we doing our Twitter comments this week, Kevin? Well, I haven't got I haven't got down the hall for that. I was hoping to give y'all a few minutes away from the, where I could get down the hall and come back for a minute. Um, Milton will call back here in a few minutes. I tell you what, uh, while we're on that, uh, Tom, if you want to give a quick, uh, we'll do a well. We were going to go NASCAR and NFL. Uh, you guys, I, I want to be in there for the NASCAR to, to go to with the art. So, uh, real quick, Tom, updates across the NFL. You were talking Browns a minute ago, and uh, where everybody else is, is maybe any other offseason moves. Say that one more time, so I got distracted. The uh, the NFL, uh, any updates for NFL? NFL with, uh, news and notes before I walk down the hall. No, I mean, me you back. know, I've, I've been. My brother sent me a, a tweet from the. Real quick, Michael Vick is going to play in the mm-hmm. fan controlled yeah. football league, and then a little Deshaun Watson stuff as well. Nick. Yeah, my my brother sent me a tweet, which basically um, I don't even want to repeat it on the air, but it's not looking good. Some of the stuff that's it's just not looking good that's coming out. Some things that were said in text messages and some things, and they said they're going to get the they're going to get the uh, suspension hopefully by June or July. I'm not really sure uh, when the league's going to put down its punishment, but you know, what if he gets a year? Zach and I were talking. You know, what if he gets a year, and then some of the people are saying, "Well, Baker Mayfield comes back, plays lights out." But does the a does he want to play for them? No, I would say no. no, he doesn't. Do the other players want him? I would say no. So, how can you create a workable situation out of that? How how, how could he ever take a snap for Cleveland again after everything that's happened over the last few months? Would I would get say cheer for a boot. I think both because there are. If you look at the fan pages, there are there are Baker fans mm-hmm. and there are 
one that make memes of him in a McDonald's uniform. You know, I mean, there's just, it just seems to be no middle ground on, on Baker Mayfield. And I, I could see the, I could see the, the positive things he's done for Cleveland. Uh, you know, the, the mouth always bothered me or like some of his things, you know, if he would just shut up, you know, sometimes he talked when he, when he didn't need to. And, and I know pun, pundits are out there and it's easy for me to say, cause there's not people all over the country trash talking me about what, what I did, what I said, I just think he didn't handle that the best. And that led to, you know, got out of control. And then the whole Odell thing where, you know, the more it comes out, it just seemed like everybody was on Odell's side when that happened. You know, nobody really took his side. I think he lost the team over that. You know, the team just didn't support him. And then he wanted out. And well, how are you going to bring him back when you brought, when you went out of your way and gave up a ton of picks and a ton of money to get a guy you didn't think, you don't even know if he's going to play. How, I, I keep saying that everybody who asked me about this, how could you give up so much? I'm not, I'm not, we're not talking about his talent. I'm not talking a bit about Watson's talent because he has talent. <clears throat> Is it a talent up, upgrade over Baker Mayfield? Yes. Okay. Because he was really, you know, really good. But I just don't see how you can trade away three number one picks and pay this guy more than anybody's been paid before, and you don't know if he's going to take a snap. I think I uh, just don't know. I, just don't I think I think it. Cleveland messed up. Not uh, uh, Cleveland and the Texans messed up because I don't understand how Baker wasn't involved in the deal. I don't understand why the Texans wouldn't want Baker Mayfield. That, that that's the next is okay. You make this deal. How is Baker Mayfield still on your roster? Yeah, I mean, I would have just given I mean, to him. How is, Honestly, how is Baker still on your roster to solve the problem? Well, I mean, and you I, would have I, sent Baker in maybe only two number one picks instead of three. Yeah, there's there's some things that I think you know that I like that they've done. You know, they 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 got Chubb an extension. They got some of their offensive linemen extension. They got Denzel Ward an extension. You know, got a that, that, that There's yeah, you went out and got Cooper, who's expensive. He's expensive. He can so, play. I mean, expensive. if he plays, he can play. But you know we'll, we'll see we'll see how if he's worth that was it twenty million dollars yeah well does Sean Watson yeah. ever take a snap for Cleveland that's a good question is there something in the contract I would have you just better said hope so. I, like I said I'm I'm a stupid school teacher I'm not a GM but I would just say okay we really like you Deshaun we want to believe you that <clears> you're gonna you're you know this is all false allegations blah 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 but if you don't play a snap. The this contract is, this is, is null. void. You know what I mean? At least, even if you void the contract, at least you save all the money. Your professor is going to lose all your picks. Like, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how all that works. But you would have to, would you not, put something in there to protect yourself if this kid, if they may give him two years. Trevor Bauer got two years. Yes, sure did. Trevor Bauer got, has he been convicted of anything? Has Trevor Bauer been convicted of anything? Did I miss something? This guy's got 22 alleged, you're innocent until proven guilty, <clears throat> but it's 22 alleged, it's been another, he's not going to jail because there's no criminal charges, but out of 22, say five of them are true, four of them. Does that get you a year? Does that get you two years? Yeah. You know, I mean, I just, I, I just don't, I understand it's like, look what the Rams did with Matt Stafford. Let's try to make a big splash. I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. All in. Here's Here it is. We're all in on Deshaun Watson. But you know the difference between Matt Stafford <laughs> and Deshaun any, Watson? He didn't you, have, knew, you knew Stafford's <clears throat> going to play. You knew Stafford's going to play. He didn't have now, a lot of baggage. Now, I'm not going to judge a young man on his bad mm -hmm. decisions. I, don't, I wasn't in the room. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to sit here and say he's all this or he's all that. But just from objectively speaking, you have to make sure that this guy's going to play before you go all in like that. Or what I would have said is like, eh, I don't know. I'll give you a number one for him and take a chance. I'm not giving you three number ones and then pay him, what, two, was it $270 million? Am I wrong? It was, the guaranteed money, money was, was, cr was 150 the, I think. They're giving this kid crazy money. Now, I know they structured it to where, the first year he's making next to nothing because they anticipate him not playing. But what if he gets two? What if he gets three? You don't know. I mean, Josh Gordon, I mean, was basically kicked out for smoking marijuana. Yeah. That's smoking, mar that's smoking marijuana, man. Who, who are you hurting by smoking marijuana? Well, yourself. 
but still they had pretty stiff penalties for that. You got 20, 22 alleged misconduct, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's it, it's just I don't know. Every every time it's just it's just baffling for me to 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 try to explain this. And when my brother sent me that, like I said, I don't want to say what's in the. You yep. you can follow along. I don't want to say what it is on this station, but it's just it's not good. I, think, I mean, it's just not good. I, not I, good. You know, you're talking about how could they fix the situation? How could they do it? The only thing that I could see that you could do, and it, it might not work, you could go in and tell Baker, if you want to play on another team, you had to perform. Go tell the team, look, this is the situation we're in. Yeah. I know you might not want him. If we want to get capital for this guy, he's got to be our quarterback. But Baker, why? That's, not, ba- that's not his personality. I know. Yeah, but why would Cleveland, as a franchise, not come out? And when they were asked, hey, now we got Watson, we got Mayfield, <laughs> you know what? They're both going to be competing for the starting spot. Because you don't pay too much. If you would have no. said that. Well, Terry. I know that. Terry. I know what you're saying. You're not going to pay a guy two hundred seventy million dollars and say compete for the starting spot. I know, spot. but if you <laughs> would have said that, it, it wouldn't be like this because Baker would have still say I'm part of the team. I, I, we're going to we're going to pay you two hundred seventy million. But th- there you go, Terry. I'm a credit you. This is part of the team stuff. This is not park ball, Terry. This ain't yeah. park ball, brother. You know you're part of the team, son. No, you pay a guy two hundred seventy million dollars. He there ain't no competition. Yeah. There ain't no competition. You're our guy. <laughs> he so had how's to the be. Other guy still? The bigger question is, Terry, how's this other guy still on your roster? He had to be part yeah. of the deal. Yeah. He did, or you had to do a three-way deal. Yeah. You know, I mean, you you had to do something. So, I understand. Maybe if Another the. If, stuck. If they yeah, needed stuck. a quarterback, yeah. wouldn't they want to come in if and the, maybe get Baker? If, I if I yeah, could, but what if, would you do with if, Ryan? See, I, they, I, they was thinking about I it. I would just say if the Browns, the Browns brass would, would explain it. They would maybe say, look, man, this is our guy. We think we can win the Super Bowl with him. We had to do what we had to do to get him in here. We're taking a chance. We're trying to win. I mean, I I get it. Baker's a problem in the locker room. The other guys don't like it. It ain't going to work here. Okay, fine with that. I mean, I'm not – I don't have, like, a childish attachment. You know, like, it would have worked out fine. He's only making $18 million. You got got your money for uh, Jadavion Clowney. You got got money to, you know, to play with. If you're only paying this guy eighteen million, that's the other reason I would have yeah. him gone because that opened up that right. Money. Yeah, if you if you get rid of his eighteen million dollar salary, that here you go, Clowney. Here you go, Clowney. Here's it's it's money. Solves another and, problem, and, and, but... we're, and we're done. And some of the guys said allegedly they didn't want to play with Baker. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if anybody's gone on the record on a microphone and saying, "Look, I ain't playing with Baker Mayfield." I, I haven't heard Clowney say. Maybe he did. I, I've, I've heard. I, that. I think all the players there don't know what to say. I don't. I think you know it's not really been. You haven't heard like when I when I read the 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 Browns because like, they're thinking nuggets, about, I don't see that. Yeah, they're thinking about that. we don't have a quarterback right now. It is Brissett. Yeah. That's who we got because we're yeah. not sticking Mayfield out there. I don't. I mean, he's can. still part of the team. But I think. I, I think what you've done is basically you've made Baker Mayfield radioactive, and you can't he he can't play there if he wanted to. I could be wrong. I mean, these guys are adults. And if you tell me, Tom, here's $20 million to go play with people you don't like, I think I'd make it work. Yeah. But that, but that, but that's me. You know, I don't think that's, ba- I don't think that's Baker Mayfield's personality. I think, I think if he went out and had one game, one good game, he might say something like, well, I just showed today why the Browns made a mistake. You know, yeah. so, something, something, I can like, see him something, like, something like that. Maybe he wouldn't, but as he, as he matures, I think he'll, he'll get out of that. But, I, I don't know if there's any way. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, can you get back together with your wife after they cheated with two or three other people? I mean, it makes definitely makes it more complicated, doesn't it? So, I mean, I think it's the same situation. You went out and paid this guy mega money and, and gave more. sold the farm. Three number yeah. ones sold the farm to get this guy. Oh, well, it's not going to work out. You want to come back? You know, it's like, sorry, honey, I went out to the club and got some strippers and came here. Do you want to come back? I'm sorry about that. I don't think, I don't think it's possible, Terry. I just don't. At this point, I don't think. I think that's a completely unworkable situation. But like I said, I could be wrong. Those guys are professionals. All right, let's put it all aside. Let's play. I'm a professional. You're a professional. We got to step. We all got a stake in this. Let's see what you know. Let's see how this shakes out if we all play together again. But I don't know, man. I want the NFL to go ahead and make a decision, but I think they're still yeah, waiting on more it. of this. They're waiting on more of the evidence to come in, which I guess is good. You know, you don't want to make a decision, but 
like I said, some of the stuff is coming out, Terry. It's not good. It's not good for it's not good for Deshaun Watson. We'll see what they say. Is Melton called in? Where where where'd Kevin? He went back to get uh uh our our surprise tweets for the week that you guys are going to oh. love. So he's okay. probably working on that in the back back there. Uh, okay. Milton was supposed to call in, hadn't heard the phone ring. Uh, and he, he might be to go mad. Over some, he won't go over some NASCAR too. Yeah, he might be mad at us. Uh, <laughs> who Milton? Yeah, we didn't answer the phone when he called. We didn't know it was Milton. We ghosted him. Uh, well, you had to know. I mean, nobody really calls on Saturday morning. But uh, not not now. They'll call. They'll call in the fall because they want the scores. Yeah, they, <laughs> but they're not gonna. You know, in May and June they don't call too much. Did anybody, you know, while I'm thinking about it, did anybody get the Legion scores? Did we do the Legion scores? Not the Legion. I know, I know, I do know the Ironman won yesterday and moving on to round five, but that's about, you know, high school. Cherville's still alive. Yes, they won seven to five, which that was that team that was like a 27 seed. Really? They had really smoked. Right. 27 to four in the first two games. So they won seven to five. They're going on to round five. Uh, don't know if we get a home game for that. They are a higher seed. Cheryl was what a three seed. Uh, I'd have seed? to look at it. I know. Like I know. East five. Rutherford was defeated Tuesday. East Rutherford. Uh, I talked to uh, one of the officials. Did that game? I know they didn't win. It was a can't remember what the score was. Um, so pretty much they're the only local team left. But I mean we're pretty deep. Mm-hmm. But uh, Crest Kings Mountain. I want to say Crest Kings Mountain both in the second round. North Lincoln. Did you hear how far how far did North Lincoln get there? No, I do not know. Okay. Them or uh East Lincoln. Was that still in it? I wanna say you know I wanna say I heard about East Lincoln, but I have not heard. Let's see here. Uh <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> Calvin says me. Calvin is, is saying that uh we all need to find our third favorite teams. <laughs> <laughs> Because you probably heard me talking about, yeah. you probably heard me talking about the Browns and said I need to go in <laughs> get me a backup team. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I know that uh, that was a great game between uh, Crest and and uh, North Lincoln in the second round. I, I'd really like to see how far they. I'm gonna look it up real quick here. And North Lincoln, if we go on down here. They made it to the fourth round because after defeating Crest, they defeated West Henderson. South Rowan. Boy, it seems like South Rowan's always got some good teams and just about everything. Yeah. South Rowan defeated with them. them. <laughs> defeated them last night. Last night, Terry. So it's seven to three South Rowan over North Lincoln last oh, night. Okay. So great season for the Knights. I mean, they, they really had a great season. They got their coach, a great guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, a great guy. Yeah, I, I could have been I, North yeah. versus East. Yeah. Uh, for this chance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cherville will play uh, Union Academy okay. uh, this week for the in the Western. You know finals. what seed Union is? Are they Five. lower? They are a good seed. So this, so this is the I first say a higher seed. I think they had it misseeded. Cherville's been playing nothing but twenty some seeds so yeah. far, <laughs> and then, now they get. A I, I think that that twenty something seed was a legit. What, what was it? it was twenty seven runs in the first two. Twenty seven to four. Well, I'm guessing Terry. Um, what that was was they were they were in a split conference like Cherville and them, <clears> and <throat> you see end up second. In the one A in a split conference, yeah. you get a twenty some seed. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know specifics. So I just I could just be making. Or they were just playing anyway, really well. Um, we've got uh, we're gonna get to NASCAR here in a second. But Tom, I've been working on something uh, this week. I had to go finish it up down the hall just now as part of it. Zach reminded me I didn't get it finished a minute ago. Um, but you know, uh, I you've been awful grumpy today. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, yeah, you were right. East Lincoln did win last night. Yeah. They beat St. Stephen's. So East Lincoln moving on. Cherville moving on. So we got some local teams. Uh, like I said, North Lincoln goes down last night. But just a, a great season for the Knights. So I've, I, 